gentlemen, what is going on? Joe here today to give you a really quick Unaveraged Thoughts episode on this release from Wilhelm Perfumery called Faces of Francis. Now I will say this, I want to give a special thank you to the people over at Euro Perfumes for sending this my way. I had the chance to participate in an event that they did in New York City. You see right there, some people, some recognizable faces. And they gifted me this bottle for attending. This was during the Sun Explore weekend for timeline purposes. But I've uh, spent a little bit of time with this fragrance. If you see, I've put a little bit of a dent in it. And I feel it is time for me to share my thoughts. Do I like it? Do I not? Is it weird? I mean... I don't mind weird. I like weird. I'm weird. So, without further ado, it is time to get into this review. So, Faces of Francis was released in 2023, and this is not your average fragrance, but this is in line with stuff that I do expect from Wilhelm. What do I mean by that? I mean that this is an enthusiast fragrance. This isn't meant to be mass appealing. This isn't meant to attract and, you know, sell 10,000 units in the first two minutes of production. This is meant for us, the content creators, the fragrance enthusiasts who appreciate good perfumery. That being said, not everyone is going to like this, if I'm being honest, though it's a little bit weird. It is still on the mass appealing side, but the notes in here kind of leave some people a little thrown off from the discussions that I've had with people. I personally like the fragrance. However, I can see where like the oud and the kind of green balsam fur vetiver kind of vanillic leathery fresh juniper pistachio thing can't throw some people off some people will say because of the saffron that's in here it may come off a little bit rubbery the saffron oud combination y'all know about that but i'll say that they did a good job blending this overall this is a fragrance that i constantly reach for especially when i'm going to work and I'm working, throw this on, it works well with my outfit. I don't plan to paint the town red and, you know, seduce every woman that I come across when wearing this fragrance. That's why I kind of keep it more for, you know, work type of situations. Or maybe when I'm looking for something a little bit more reserved on my end, but still don't want to be overbearing spiciness gives it a little bit of depth while the pistachio and oud and juniper kind of give it something that is a little bit unique i will say that for the price and because of the composition this is for somebody who's at least going to be 25 and up however if you have some sort of higher profile job and or like to purchase niche fragrances, I could see 21 and up wearing this. This will lean a little bit more masculine in my opinion. However, it's 2024 now. Who am I to stop you on what you want to wear? If you're a man, if you're a woman and you want to wear it, wear it. I recommend it. I just know I personally like it. Seasons for this fall, winter spring you could do this on a summer night if you have some sort of event but especially i see this a little bit more in the spring and fall times really shining well this isn't the projection beast that you would think given the notes however there is enough of a performance that i was able to get nine ten hours out of it and really appreciate the fragrance this also does stick to clothes itself. So on the clothes, it will last much longer. Box and presentation. So given the fact that this came from an event, just know that this taxi really quick was actually painted on by one of the New York artists. 
every bottle given at the event, which were different bottles, not just all Wilhelm, but every bottle had a different type of thing painted on it. Mine, taxi, because New York City. The box. Yellow box. This is 100 ml. And if you got a 50 ml, you would get a similar but smaller box. Sleeve. Open. Fragrance would rest here. I just didn't feel like having it fall on me. So there you go. Really nice, good quality, sturdy box. Almost like a, a watch box. You know, like a box that the watch would come in. Wilhelm Perfumery, New York, written there. Faces of Francis will be the name of the fragrance on the sleeve. So you know which one it is. Wilhelm Perfumery. And then you have all of your skewing information right there as well. As for the bottle, you have the standard orange-like gold coloring of Wilhelm with their logo. Magnetic cap. Very nice. Name of the fragrance, Faces of Francis, Wilhelm Perfumery, New York. Written as well there with the logo on the bottom. Like I said, this is the 100 ml. So if you ever want to know how much you use of your fragrance, just tilt it to the side like this. I mean, you could see it this way, but it's a little bit more effective this way. The bottle is really reminding me of something like Volgari Black, but a little bit more, I guess, elegant, minimalistic, and refined, a little fine-tuned. But nonetheless, the sprayer. There you have it. There are my thoughts and opinions on this fragrance. This is one of my more favorite releases from Wilhelm, not just because I got the bottle for free, but... If you go back and watch my live stream, I kind of like the fragrances that were more in tune with this. You know, I did that live stream a couple years ago when I was really kind of getting into all these like newer niche brands. And ones that were in line like this, like also Dear Polly, um, a few others. In the comments down below, let me know if you've tried anything from the House of Wilhelm Perfumery. What are your thoughts on the brand? What are your thoughts on Faces of Francis? Did you like this fragrance when you tried it? Have you tried it? You want to try it? My name is Joe. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.